today I'm going to be showing you how to make a table with React. This is going to be what we make. What I'm going to do to start off is I'm just going to make a new folder in my components folder, call it table. So first thing I'm going to do is make a empty table. And in this I have a T body, actually I have a T head one table row. And in the T body I have nothing yet. So I'm going to have two arrays, one being the array for the headers. And this is going to have a, an ID, a key for the data and a label. First, actually, let me move this to the app.js. All right. Can't see anything yet, but we will. So I have my headers array and then I have a data array to mimic something from an API. If you like any of these, let me know. First to make the columns appear, we're going to map through the headers array in the JSX. So we're going to say headers dot map. And for each iteration, we're going to get a header and an index for the key attribute that React wants us to use. And we're gonna return a table header. And in here, we're gonna say key with the index. We're gonna render a span. And in the span, we're gonna say header.label. So now we have make model year horsepower color. And now we're gonna do kind of the same thing, but for T body, we're actually gonna render several rows. Data.map, for each index of the data array, we're gonna get a row or whatever you wanna call it, an index for the key. And we're going to return a table row element. And in that table row, we're gonna give it a key with index. And in this table row, we're actually gonna do another loop through our headers, headers.map. Each iteration of this headers.map, we get a header and an index. And since this index is inside this, then whatever's in this block will scope to this index. So they don't overlap. So in each iteration of this, we're going to return a table cell, which is a TD element. Here, we're going to also give it a key. We're gonna render the row, the iteration item that we get back from this data array. And we're gonna use bracket notation to get a certain property off of that object, which is each of these rows is one of these objects. So row at whatever property we're at in this inner array. So we're gonna say header.key. And if you'll notice, header.key, like say for this one is a year, this will point to the year property here. So it's pretty much the same as writing year. And this bracket notation is used as a dynamic way of doing this, dot year, just so you know. So yeah, so our data should be showing now. Uh, let's go ahead and add some CSS to make this less ugly. So got my table, my T head, nothing too special, just some basic styles. So this was pretty short, but my next video, I'm actually gonna go over how to sort a table. So make sure I'll link a card or I'll uh, just look for it in my channel. But yeah, thank you for watching. Peace.